who I think was the second youngest GM. And he's still only, I think, 15 and obviously extremely talented as well. So I'm expecting another tough game here. Uh, yeah, no more of this London stuff. I'm gonna give him a Benku Gambit. Because, why not? Wouldn't generally recommend this Gambit though. It has the unfortunate side effect of losing a pawn. But it's fine. Oh, that's a problem with castling. That's the problem with castling, yeah. Okay. But you can play another way. You can play with bishop f5, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this is considered to be decent. Bishop g4. He's playing fast, at least. But I think forcing f3 and e4 is a pretty big, big win for me. Now I have ideas of... Uh, of um, knight b4, bishop a6, and also knight d7. And he's weak in both of these diagonals. Now a3, I think I'm just gonna jump in still. And why did I jump in? Because I'm a moron, that's why. Okay, we'll go back. Okay, that was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. But it's fine though. I still have some typical Benko Gambit pressure uh, with a solid structure and a couple of uh, half open lines. Now I went bishop a6. And rook b8. Bishop f1, huh? I think I'll grab that one. We'll give a check. And this is starting to look pretty promising for me. I think bishop f1 was, was not good. Probably needed to do something a little bit more circumspect there. Mm, okay, let's take on c3. I think I'm happy to play an ending here. Takes an a6. Take and then take an a3. Winning the pawn back with, I think, some initiative. Bc3 immediately, I don't want to take an e2 and bring his king closer to the center, and I think I'll just keep the keep the queen son. And I think with the structure that we have, um, his, uh, his king is going to be less safe than, than mine. But yeah, anyway, he decides to not to trade queens. I think in both cases he was he was worse. Uh, but I think trading may have been the lesser evil since it feels like now I'm, I'm pretty much just invading. Probably needs this one, but at least I have knight g4. But also knight d3 looks good. Queen c3. Gradually bringing my troops closer and eventually I should start picking up some material. King h3 seems natural to escape, but I think I'll just start grabbing now. Fred, if he takes, I have rook e2. And I'm also threatening knight f4 now, winning the queen. Now I got queen c2. It's only try is maybe f5, but I got knight e5 covering everything. The other knights can go to e8 and then to f6. So it should be very safe. e5, I'll just grab. And I think his position is absolutely hopeless here. F5, I can take on E3, but let's just grab as much as possible, right? I like this game. Apart from that knight B4, knight F6 